Depression is um, a very common disorder, but it's also one of the least studies in psychiatry. Straddle is a large study looking into the causes of depression using a mixture of genetic techniques, brain imaging and looking at symptom clusters. We believe that depression is not one single disease, it has a lot of subtypes in it and part of the purpose of the Straddle project is to find out some of these subtypes. Everybody has um, life events and trauma and adversity that happens to them um, and yet some people remain well and some people become ill and that's what we want to look at, the people who have the ability to bounce back from adversity. In the last few years there has been increasing attention about thinking about how can we help people to build up their resilience, their protective factors. So that represents a very positive move in psychology to think about people's strengths in addition to their weaknesses. So this is going to be quite a, a large study of, of lots and lots of people, so we're talking thousands of scans. It has quite a lot of power behind it. So we use questionnaires that will require people to self-report their mood and their personality. We also use some of the computer tasks that will enable us to look at, say, how quick they are to respond to certain emotional stimuli, how they categorise, for example, facial expressions. People are shown um, faces and they have various um, emotions contained with them and that can be happy or fearful faces and they have to distinguish which emotion the faces are displaying. Depression is a very disabling disease and lead to a lot of personal distress and it doesn't only affect the people who are affected but also their family, their friends, the community. So by trying to understand more about why some people get depressed and why some people don't get depressed, we're hoping that we will be able to deliver more effective treatment and prevention programs. As a team, we're very keen to bring this concept of resilience to the community and the general public. And we're hoping that by increasing the awareness of risk and resilience in the community, then we'll be able to help people to think about how to build their psychological resilience and protective factors that may lead to a lot of changes, um, positive changes in people's lives.